This BAM is rather brown. What's inside the newest BAM subscription box? Just to say though, I'm not sure this is the newest BAM box. Since getting this one, I've actually gotten a couple of other BAM boxes. Maybe there was a little tie up with the postal service and finally, the blockade has been freed and all the BAM boxes are trickling through like a babbling brook. Nonetheless though, we're gonna go ahead and get this one opened up, check out the contents going on inside. And if you are interested in getting the BAM box, a premiere box for autographs, memorabilia, and more, I can put the link down below in the video description. Without further ado though, let's go ahead and get this opened up. We'll check out the contents. I got my knife, that's step one. Step two, checking out the contents. Step three, figuring out whereabouts this box falls on the BAM timeline. And it's a substantially long timeline too. I've been unboxing the BAM for years it seems. And this one, we're gonna wrap up shop soon enough. Like I said, I'm just gonna grab my trusty knife. Chet Cunnington, the third. He likes to be he likes to be called that with a British accent, bad or good. He still prefers the British accent when he's spoken to. His demands are relatively small. That's the only demand he seems to have, so I'm more than willing to oblige. I'm gonna put the knife to the side. Get, of course, children, younger viewers who wield the knives to themselves know that they should be retracting the knife when they're not using it. Keep it away from smaller, smaller children. First thing we've got, let's see here. We got some BAM paper. Unless there's some code that I have to encrypt in between the BAMs, I'm pretty sure I can go ahead and put this in recycling. No, I'm not gonna be throwing this in the trash. Save the save the planet, if you please. I'm gonna put that to the side. I'm sure I won't need that anymore. Watch there be some code that I should have jotted down, but we'll go back and look at that soon enough. Uh, I do have what seems to be a pop box and it's been wrapped. I'm basically just describing everything you already can see anyways. I'm gonna remove the wrap, just unravel it like so. And we've got something from The Walking Dead. Oh, there's an autograph on there. This is Penny. I'm trying to think of who Penny is. Is Penny the one that had the flowers or Penny is the one that was crawling underneath the car in like the first season? I guess we'll know soon enough. This is The Walking Dead, uh, 99, pop number 99. And there's an autograph there. Uh, I guess I'm assuming it's the actress that played Penny. Some wrap. I guess I probably should keep the wrap on because it was on the inside. But here are the characters. There's Carl, there's Maggie, Penny, Injured Daryl, and Woodbury Walker. If I'm to assume that these were all from around that same time frame. Again, I feel like Penny was from an older season. Uh, we are still waiting as far as I know. Unless I put this video up extremely late. We're still waiting for the other end of the new Walking Dead season. I'm really excited to see where that's gonna be going. I'm not gonna spoil anything for anybody that has not seen The Walking Dead, but uh, I kind of went through a period of time where I really wasn't liking The Walking Dead. And I was thinking to myself, do I really wanna stay on board this? And of course, all the things with the Whispers, Alpha and Beta, I'm really excited for uh, what's gonna be coming up for that. Anyways, we do have ourselves an autograph. Pretty cool, I'm gonna put that right to the side. Now, I think this is also around that same time frame where we have to be looking online to see the contents for the box. So I've got my phone like readily available. It's been charging, or what I like to say, it's been getting juiced this whole time. We'll have that good and ready when the time has come. Uh, we have ourselves a badge in here as well. The Spam Pop Culture box, which we looked at not too long ago. I believe it was volume five, box number three. And then since then, we've, just like I said, we've gotten all these BAM boxes, or at least I've gotten all these BAM boxes delivered to the door. So it's gonna be a lot more unboxings coming up soon. But the last badge that I recall getting was from the Christopher Nolan Batman, I think it was from the Dark Knight. And it was the, uh, of course it was the Gotham badge. Now this one here is a Sheriff badge. It's made of metal and says King County Sheriff trying to, in the back of my mind, start pulling out the filing cabinets. No, no, not that one. I'm drawing a blank, but I'm certain, I'm thinking it has something to do with it. That's my guess. I'm gonna guess it. King County Sheriff. 
probably wrong by that. But it is nonetheless, though, it is a real metal badge. So that's that's really impressive. That was one of the things I really liked a lot about the pop culture box that we just looked at not too long ago. Uh, we did get ourselves a badge, so we got ourselves another one. And it's probably, again, this is horror-related, of course, so it's got to be something horror-related. And I'm, I'm feeling, I'm leaning towards something uh, from it. That's my guess. Inside, we also got the BAM Horror Box. We got ourselves a pin. It's Volume 5, Box Number 4. That looks like that character that was from uh, Cabin in the Woods, if I'm not mistaken, with the saw blades all stuck in his head. Uh, the back, it says this pin has a limited release. This fan art pin has been created exclusively for Bambox and is inspired by the artist's love of the fandom. There are a limited number of pins created. Once these pins, by the way, have been made, they are vaulted, sort of like Disney, but darker and more gruesome. Vaulted and never, ever, ever, ever seen again. I changed some of that stuff there. And there's also the website down below, Bambox. I can add that to one said denim jacket, which up to this point, if anyone was curious, has not still yet surfaced. I'm hoping it's going to be surfacing soon. I've got a couple of cards, a scratch card. We're going to have to go ahead and scratch that at some point. Let's hope no whammies. And we also got a level up card indicating you've been leveled up. Not I, not me. I feel the same. My arms tingle about the same as normal. I should probably get that checked, but I don't feel like I've been leveled up, but the box content, there's something in there that's been leveled up. Maybe it's the pop, maybe it's the badge, something, something, something has been inside that has been leveled up. And I can technically really even use this. Look at me multitasking with the tools in front of me. I can use this to technically scratch the card. It always seems the thing I forget about, I always wait till the last minute to do this. Why not do this now while it's on the... Well, it's on my mind, right? That's usually the way. Best thing to do when it comes to setting a goal is do it the moment you think about it. Because if you wait and you postpone and you wait till tomorrow or the next day or the next day, you're never going to do it. You're going to forget all about it until somebody reminds you. And then you're going to be like, oh, I should have written it down. Or you should have done it sooner. Well, I can already tell you right off the bat, one is a free band box. One seems to be an upgraded box. There you go. Art print. Art print. So I already know I haven't won. I'm not going to give up, though. Quitters never win. Well, in this case, people that persevere don't win anything either here. But the point I was making, though, is at least finish your job. At least finish it off. Ooh, a 50-inch 4K TV. That would have been splendid. <sighs> Didn't get it. That's okay. Inside as well, we got ourselves a card. Now, the card has Michael Myers, specifically Michael Myers from 2018, but though in the background, if you can see it, there's one of the skulls from the Silver Shamrock. little nod to, of course, Halloween 3. Nice to, by the way, see that those masks did make an appearance, though brief. Yes, the kids were walking on the sidewalk, but at least they made an appearance in the 2018 Halloween. Still excited, somewhat, for the Halloween kills. Hopefully we're going to see a, a fuller trailer than simply just having Lori screaming, let him burn for about like five seconds. That's not a trailer. That's like a te Well, I guess it was a teaser of a trailer. The world we live in nowadays where we don't just have trailers, we have teasers of trailers. What a world, eh? But this is a Michael Myers card. Um, it has been signed. I'm just trying to see if I can find the autograph here. It's somewhere on there. Maybe I'm not seeing it. Maybe it's right in front of me. On the back, oh, it's it's down there. Silly, silly me. Congratulations, this is an authentic BAM fan art card featuring a unique sketch from one of our favorite artists. This card is a part of a set of two and a bigger set of 12. Got a little cut. Just dust on there. There we go. Wipe it off, wipe it off. That's a good-looking card for a mask I'm not as big of a fan of. Don't really like that 2018 Halloween Michael Myers mask. That's just me, though. And then we've got a couple of prints. One is probably a print, and one is probably an autograph. Oh, this is so cool. We did get this before. Not technically this print, but if you backtrack, look at my previous video of the BAM Pop Culture Box, Volume 5, Box Number 3, I'm not mistaken. Did actually have, I think it was Lucy and Linus. If I'm, I think that's right. Lucy and Linus, and they were chased by Shredder from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Here, on the other hand, being, of course, this is from the the pop, the BAM horror box, not the pop culture box, we have something a little bit more horror-related. In this case, we've got 
uh, Leatherface chasing both Sally and Peppermint Pal Patty. Now that's not Sally, that's Peppermint Patty and drawing a blank. Somebody will tell me down below. Peppermint Patty and ah, drawing a blank. Nonetheless, though, it's been autographed. It's out of 2,000 releases. This one happens to be 1617. Now I'm drawing a blank. I don't know. Somebody, somebody will tell me. Somebody will tell me down below. And then we also do have ourselves an art of Brett we uh, Weld Weldel Weldel. Is that how you pronounce his name down below? It's a really interesting sketch of the crow, specifically Brandon Lee's The Crow. And Crow being one of my all-time favorite movies of the top ten, I would say. Uh, that's nice. I'm gonna have to get that framed. I like the bluish tones that they used for it. It almost looks like it's painted in watercolors and then inked over top of that. That looks really nice. Uh, and like this one is limited to 1,700 releases. This one is 917. Uh, it doesn't have like uh, usually on the back it'll tell you like for example this one doesn't have anything on the back telling you like uh, you know who it's from or anything like that. Well, that's nice. I mean it says right down here, but like I said, there's normally like a little card on the back. I'm gonna definitely have to frame that. That's for sure. Now this one again doesn't have an insert card. What they did do, however, was they included this. For the next couple of months, we will be going through a di uh, to a digital handout until the beginning of the company's printing companies we use are back up and running at full speed. For this, you're gonna go to bambox.com forward slash insert. Now, already one of the downsides to this is they don't tell you specifically which number this is. I'm guessing and sort of going by what we had gotten before with box number three being the BAM pop culture. Now, I'm gonna assume that this is also the BAM horror box box volume five, box number three. Let's check the online site to see if I'm correct. And of course, as you could probably expect it, one of the downsides of not knowing which one it is, is you're sort of having to guess. Box number two is I know we've done. Box number three is what the volume pop, pop, pop culture box that we had already done. That's always a tongue twister. Pop culture volume five, box number three. I'm gonna guess it's this one right here. Let's just hope I'm right. Quickly looking at it. No, no, that's not right, actually. Uh, we did get a prop replica of the ring, so that's, I'm thinking it's maybe four. Oh, there it is, right there. Whew, that could have gone bad real quick. So we've got, there a way to actually, I'll just increase the size here. We did get supposedly an autograph, but being that it was upgraded, that is why we got the pop culture, uh, the pop Funko Pop instead. So instead of getting the autograph print, we got ourselves the Funko Pop instead. This is the Walking Dead uh, celebrity autograph. The Walking Dead fans will remember the governor's daughter, zombie daughter. This month, we'll bring you Kylie, S is it Simansky? Look for, uh, for all the crazy pops you have gotten, you may get as a level up. Crazy drops you may have gotten level up. I don't know why for some reason I'm have such a tough time saying that. But yeah, that's that's I guess her. I knew it was from an earlier season. I didn't connect the two that she she was actually related to the governor's daughter. Or that the pop was the governor's daughter. So there you go. That's we got ourselves a nice Funko Pop. Generally I'm not into Funko Pops, but I do like the ones that are autographed, and I most definitely like the ones that are horror related. So that's a pretty cool level up. We also got the fan art pin. Uh, this is a franchise we have been asked about a lot. It is often on the top of our polls as we run and we couldn't wait to bring you the cabin in the woods. Make sure you look for the pins number 250 and 99. Judging by the color scheme here, I can only guess like it seems the turtleneck. Is that a turtleneck? It's the top of his sort of Cenobite costume. Seems slightly lighter than this one right here, but I'm assuming the one I got is just a normal variety. Uh, also included inside. Oh, see, there's the level up right there. So Penny, that's the one that we've gotten. There's the level up pins. And I guess those are the level up versions of of the uh, Leatherface right there. For the fan art print, first time artist Steve Jenks also uh, brings our first ever crossover art print. Look for the variants numbered out of 550. 
Well, that I'm assuming is probably 500 with the little holes in the sheets. And then the one limited in 50 is probably my guess, the one that had Scooby on there. Now I'm also curious about this one. The prop replica, hands down, one of our favorite props we have done, Walking Dead fans will recognize the badge adorned by Rick Grimes. Oh geez, Rick Grimes. Now I almost feel like I have to cash this back in. I was assuming it was it's, and I think the thing for me, I looked at King and thought for some reason Stephen King. Should have remembered that it was Derry. So that's really cool, the fact that we got ourselves the replica badge worn by his very own Rick Grimes. Very, very neat, love that. And then in fact, last and certainly not least, we got the Artist Select card. Artist Hal Moore completes his set of Halloween with one of our favorite slashers, Michael Myers. Did you get uh, box number three? So you can complete the set. Also look for the variant foil card numbered out of 100, which would be this one right here. It doesn't look that much different other than the hair is a little bit darker color. And of course it would be a foil variant card. So. With all that said and done, we, it turns out we actually got ourselves volume five, box number four of the recent BAM horror boxes. And as I said, at the time of getting this one, I went back to my local post office, the place where I always get all my mail. And sure enough, there was a whole bunch of other BAM boxes there as well. So there's probably gonna be a lot of BAM to explore in the next coming days or week or so. So stay tuned for that. Also. Of course, if you're interested in getting memorabilia autographs, of course, prop replicas, prop replica of uh, Rick Grimes' badge, anybody? Certainly, if that is the kind of thing that you fancy, consider the idea of heading down to the dark dwellings, the basements of the video description. I like to generally try to keep it clean, but every once in a while I do let it slip. Down below, there's the link to take you over to the BAM box where you can subscribe and get either the BAM Pop Culture box, which we just looked at recently, or the BAM Extra Spicy, the horror BAM box that we looked at in this review. You can subscribe to either. You can subscribe to both. You can subscribe by clicking the link down below in the video description. And hey now, while you're also down there, if you're obviously just kind of looking for something to do while you're down in the basement, you can grab some preserves if you want to, but also consider the idea of hitting that subscribe button to this channel if you're liking the content that this humbled reviewer is doing on a regular basis. Monday to Friday, 12 p.m. and 2 p.m., consider the idea of hitting the subscribe button to this channel, consider the idea of hitting that bell notification, and considering keeping the peepers of those located on either side of your nose peeled, because there's certainly going to be a lot of videos coming your way. As always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>